My mother made sure. My mother made sure we knew about genocide. She put it on the bookshelves. She knew her daughters would read a book with diary in the title. By the time it was my turn to read Anne Frank, the cover was soft and falling off. The pages smelt of joysticks. My sisters had all left home when my mother brought the musicians of Auschwitz into the house. As soon as she finished it, she put it by my cereal bowl for me to read. By the time I travelled to Oshvienshim, the only journey my mother could make was to the rehabilitation centre at the edge of the fields. She couldn't walk or talk. I showed her every photograph when I returned. We still had pictures printed in those days. My mother had started keeping files, tearing out newspaper articles with the slender fingers of her one good hand. The survivors and their children, Carl Lutz's paper trails, the Schindler miracles. She wheeled herself to a bookcase to take the folders down to show me. I told her how among the shoes and suitcases I couldn't breathe, couldn't take photographs there, how small and dark it was between the bunk bed shelves. She gave me her skew whiff nod and slid a finger along my photograph of the Birkenau tracks.